So, it is the start of quite a few vlogs, specifically moving vlogs, which is exciting to share with you guys. Unfortunately, it's not quite the moving vlogs we had planned because we were hoping that we would eventually be able to save up and move into our own home. I am dressed, by the way, it's just absolutely freezing. Um, unfortunately, that hasn't really been the case. Um, we're trying to be realistic. We are still hoping to buy our own place eventually, but I don't think this year is going to be that year. So we want to live comfortably until we are ready to move and we want a bit more space. We've kind of outgrown this um, flat and we kind of moved here with the intentions of saving for a house, but we got married, we went on a few holidays and we just want to live our lives at the same time. So we don't want to be tied down to just saving for a house. Uh, with that being said, we did view a property um, which was for rent, which we'd also seen to buy. And we'd been looking at this house for quite some time, since like September, October time. And we really, really liked the prospect of the house. We did view that house and it was horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. And uh, we just decided against it. We thought at the time, you know, this is ideal. We can rent this house and then we're re ready to buy. We can buy it. But move it, like, moving there just didn't seem right when we viewed it. So we just said, no thanks. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but we have viewed at this point in time a couple more houses. Um, we are in application with one of them. I haven't shared this information with anybody yet because we don't want to jinx it. But obviously I'm filming this ahead of you seeing it. So if it doesn't happen, obviously you won't see the video and you'll be none the wiser. But yeah, we are in application and we think we're getting the keys on Saturday. It's going to be a really long moving process because although the house itself um, does need some T TLC, definitely not as much as the house that we were hoping to buy after we'd rented it for a year. Um, this one is more like a lick of paint, a couple of tiles and, you know, just getting it to be like home. The one thing we've got on our side this time is time because la last two times we've moved, we've literally had days to do it for X, Y or Z reasons. Well, mind you, the case to one didn't need to be X, Y and Z days because we had plenty of time because I was at my parents or we was at my parents. But this time, um, we have to give two months notice in this flat, which is a bit ridiculous. But at the same time, we've got time to get the carpets cleaned at the house, which um, Joey's sister will hopefully do for us because she has like a carpet cleaner we can give the walls a lick of paint and um we can we can just do the things that we want to do this is going to be a journey because we are going to take you with us joey's even said oh that's going to make make great videos so there's going to be lots of interesting con content coming your way now i have with this channel been stuck in a rut for a while i've kick-started the beauty channel and that's going really well um, if you're not aware of that, I do actually just have a beauty only channel, which is more to do with the beauty side of my, like, enjoyment, <laughs> if that makes sense. But there's nothing really on this channel at the moment that really um, leans one way or another. I'm not really sure where the channel is going, but a good way to get back into this whole channel is the vlogs. A lot of people love my vlogs, and I think it's because I'm just... I don't know, I'm just keeping it real with you guys, I guess. So, anyway, with that very long introduction of this vlog, today I am off work. It is a bit late, it's quarter to two, but Joey's not long gone to work. And I thought I would do something moving related without being too extreme, because obviously um, we are yet to get the keys, as I say. And at this point in time, no one actually knows that we're moving. But... I know that I need to do a sort of pre-clean in the new house before we do any painting or anything. So I thought I would go and get some cleaning products. Specifically, I want uh, 1001, some shake and vax, um, bathroom cleaner, kitchen cleaner, and um, sugar soap because we are planning on painting tiles. And I'm going with Mr. Carrington's recommendation of the Rust-Oleum paint. He said, um it's holding up well and for me if it's tricky to paint but it holds up well i'm happy with that because in the kitchen at the moment in this house that we're hopefully gonna get it's um sort of 
some tiles are white and some are pink and some are missing <laughs> there's like four missing as well so we said oh that's fine we'll replace those and we'll, we're just going to paint over them all white and then i've looked at some uh tile stickers that i want to uh use and they're like really like boho chic and they look so nice so yeah i'm gonna pop and get the cleaning products because i was off on saturday when we supposedly are meant to be getting the keys but um, I'm going to work now, so on Sunday I have the day off and I'm just going to do the initial pre-clean, like the hoovering and the cleaning as such. So you will get a empty house tour then, but this is like the pre-day off vlog <laughs> for the moving, I guess. And then the moving, like actual vlog content will start on the Saturday and it'll just, hopefully there'll be daily vlogs, mm -hmm. but you guys will see them intermittently as they are filmed does that make sense i hope it does <laughs> so this one will be an introduction i guess and it's already six minutes long so yeah i obviously haven't spoke to you guys properly in a long time and you like vlogs you like moving vlogs so we're gonna see not like drag it out but let's see how long these vlogs will last and i can give you some good content and a good idea of how the house is looking and obviously we're going to be touching up in the flat and given the flat back in a much better condition than we moved into it because it was an absolute state when we moved in so yeah lips are dry as always i swear every vlog i do my lips are dry we're just gonna roll with it i'm gonna finish my coffee and then i think i am gonna do my first sort of stop um me and joey went to poundland this morning and got a few bits but that was mainly bits that he needed I wanted to do a proper good clean haul <laughs> cleaning haul <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna go and source out some bits so as I say one thousand and one thousand and one shake and vac and then like kitchen and bathroom cleaner obviously I do have that here but what I want to do is just get a bag of stuff and on Saturday grab the hoover and the bag of stuff and go and clean so that's what my intentions are today so let's see what I can do Right, so for before I went, I thought I would see what we had in the cupboards already that we could use in the new home without sacrificing uh, a whole cleaning collection here. But there is a lot of cleaning products here in the house and I don't think I'm sacrificing anything that we would need here. So we have the bathroom cleaner. This is the Fabulosa one and it is orange and apricot. So I'll use that to clean the kitchen. Then we've got glass cleaner, which obviously you can also use on windows. And this is watermelon. Then we've got the bathroom cleaner. This is in tropical coconut. I have used this a little bit already, but I do have a method one here at the minute. So that's not really too bad. And an anti -back cleaner which is in pink grapefruit what i'm actually going to do with this seems a bit crazy but i do um sometimes mix up so flora and uh just water and spray it on in 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 the car on like the carpets if i spill anything and that just gets rid of um any unpleasant scents so i'm actually going to do that on all of the downstairs carpets and um, just as a first sort of clean uh, i got a bag of bin bags uh, a packet of bin bags because obviously when you like tidying up in new houses you find rubbish and stuff so i thought it'd be handy to take those with me when we go and then this is the list of cleaning products that i would like to also get so we've got the sugar scrub uh, sugar soap sorry sponges cloths kitchen roll some bleach toilet cleaner shake and vac 1001 or something equivalent and some rubber gloves um i also want to get a notebook because me and joey are um or i need to find one maybe so i'll have a look in a second so i don't forget i'll just write it down we want to actually take note of how much this sort of um not renovation but this little facelift on the house is going to cost so we can actually feed back to you how much it's costing us to do um and be really realistic with you and that will include decor pieces that we choose for the home furniture um paint any decoration bits that we get basically anything we get for this new house we're going to be really real with you and show you how much we're spending we're hoping fingers crossed to do it on a budget but we'll see funnily enough i didn't find a notebook um i must have 
used them all because I'm using various books for various things. But I did find this and I thought this would be handy. I know not everything in here would be ideal for the new home, but it's like dust, windows, skirting boards, wipe down the furniture, rugs and wine. So that's like everywhere. Then we've got a to-do list in the bathroom, to-do list in the kitchen and a to-do list in the bedroom. But it does also have this little uh, to-do list at the back. So I'm going to take that with this pen just because it's easy to forget things when you're in the zone. But I will pick up a little notebook so we can write down those bits as I mentioned before. So I better get my coat on and get going. So weird because I always feel like I'm so much more productive if I'm vlogging um, or filming in general. I know that since I've been, we've been at this flat, my filming has gone downhill quite a lot. I think it's just because I don't have that filming space that I used to in Caister. So the new house that we're hoping to move into is going to be an area for filming, which is cool. So I'm quite excited about that actually. And it's got a lot of storage in that room as well. Not that I'm going to start filling my life up with a load of stuff again, but it's good to know. <laughs> Okay, so near me we obviously have Aldi, as you guys know I work at Aldi, and then we have a pound stretcher right next to Aldi. So what I've done is I popped into pound stretcher first, so I think you see me fill up my basket in pound stretcher on the vlog, and this is what I got. I got a 10 pack of all purpose cloths, 69p, a pack of 8 sponges, 69p, um, some of these miracle sponges which are like the magic sponges they're only 69p which is great a pack of two gloves 90 pence I got some toilet gel which was 69p some bleach which was 39p and this twin pack of washing up liquid sometimes it's easier to use a bit of washing up liquid and get the surface grease off first when I do a clean when I'm moving in somewhere I am very very thorough just because I honestly hate the thought of having somebody else's germs all over me. So yeah, I do a massive clean. Even if we had it professionally cleaned, we would still go in and clean it anyway, or I would. So yeah, I just like to feel clean. And all of that shopping, including one bag, came to £5.44, all of the pink stuff, basically. Didn't do that on purpose, but kind of did towards the end, because <laughs> I did have some green sponges in my basket, and I was like, oh, I might as well get the pink ones, because everything else is pink. And then moving on to Aldi, a few things that I couldn't get, or I knew I could get cheaper in Aldi, were these few bits here. So a set of jumbo kitchen rolls, a 99p in Aldi. And then we have, I just got a room spray because I thought it would be quite nice before we leave after getting the keys to spray the rooms just to make them smell a bit nicer. And then this Glade Shake and Vac, I was actually going to get in Poundland for a pound because I knew there were a pound in there. Um, but as I was getting the 1001 I realised that it was 90p in Aldi. So if you've got an Aldi near you and you're in need of some Shake and Vac then they have this one, Lily of Valley and the lemon one but I personally think the lemon one smells a bit like a toilet so yeah I didn't get that one and then the shake and vac is £1.59 although I've just said shake and vac what it actually meant was the 101 <laughs> and that's one fifty nine. and the fabulosa dupe of that at the minute is one seventy nine. so it's again cheaper to get it in Aldi for now and I got two of those just to spray the whole house once I've done the initial Fabulousia clean. I'll do the video on this of course. And then we've got these um, room spray there which was the 6 in 1 and that was 47p. So in Aldi I spent a little bit more at £6.59 but um, overall I think we're nearly there with the cleaning list. Let's just get my list out and see what we have got. 
Okay, so before we begin looking at the shopping list, I just want to mention I'm going to take this hand wash with me as well. This came from my little haul not so long ago, so I'll link that if I remember. Right, so we have got, let me just put my pen on, we've got the sponges. This pen ain't working. Maybe it'll be easier if I tick it. Right, so we've got the sponges, got the cloth. Got the kitchen roll, bleach, toilet cleaner, shake and vac, thousand and one, and gloves. So I need to get a notebook and some sugar soap. So um, I might pop to Aldi. No, I've just been there. Poundland or Wilkinson's and see what they've got on offer. I do think that living here I will miss for the most central part of being in the area because I can literally walk anywhere here. Um, and get practically what I need. Whereas when we move, if we move to this house, I hope we do, because I've just spent like <laughs> just over £10 on cleaning products and that would have been a bit unnecessary if that was the case, because obviously we've got two months here and like an overlap there, if that makes sense, but it's ideal at the same time. So yeah. Does anyone else do this where you actually think about the themes of the rooms before you've even got the keys? Like I kind of got my kitchen planned, I've got the bathroom kind of planned. I'm hoping to use some of the Poundland uh, peel and stick tiles. They've got some new ones in, they're really, really nice. If I go in there again, I'll show you them because they do look really nice. And a little side note, has anybody used the sugar soap from Poundland? Because I'm a little like skeptical because it doesn't look the same as some sugar soaps that I have seen elsewhere. But yeah, I couldn't find it in that pound stretcher for some unknown reason. But I've only got two more items to get and I'm going to try not to get anything else. Even though I've seen a little print that I want from Poundland. Uh, a wooden fruit bowl that I want from Poundland, which is technically a pound. Uh, but I'm going to try and be good and just get the bits that I need for Saturday. So that, uh, Sunday, sorry, so I can just get going straight away. And obviously the notebook is for our, um, our use so that we know how much we've roughly spent. So yeah. I promise that I am going to go, but I just want to share with you, if you weren't aware, that the Aldi bags are now 15p. Now, I said that this was coming because I actually read it in an article and everyone thought I was crazy. But it's there, clear as day, 15p. <laughs> if in case you was ever wondering. So, this is the sugar soap that I was talking about to you guys from Poundland. It's a pound and it's ready to use, so I did pick that up, but... I went to Wilkinson's first so as I say that one was just a pound and this one here they are both shaken up a little bit because I've only just gotten home this one is one that you dilute with water it was two pounds um, but there was also a ready to use one which was a little bit more murky I guess <laughs> not as clear which is why I was really confused as to why that one was clear so if you have used this pound lamb one let me know um, if it's any good but what I might just do for extra precaution because we obviously are planning on painting the tiles I'll just wipe down with this one first see how we get on then if I need to I'll move on to this one but hopefully after all of the cleaning there shouldn't be too much to get off if that makes sense so yeah so that was two pounds as I said and I picked up this notebook here it's just a really nice pink and green one um, it's got green lines and a few dots on the bottom. This was also one pound. So yeah, really, really happy with the purchases. I guess you could class these as DIY bits because they are found in the DIY section. So I feel like I will pop these into the DIY price list <laughs> or amounts list, however you want to put it. But yeah, I am ready. So I plan on going out no more today. So I'm going to take off my coat and my scarf and my shoes probably end up back in my dressing gown but then maybe we can think of something else that i can do ready for the move i might show you what we me and joey personally got from poundland this morning um just because there's eight of one thing so it's not really warranting a haul as such so i could just show you what i got we literally got like eight diy things and then a couple of other diy bits and some toothpaste all exciting stuff I just don't think it'll feel right if I don't tick these off. So that's that done and that's that done. So this list is now complete, very satisfying. 
Okay, so this is what we got from Powerland. As it says, it wasn't a lot, but I thought I'd share it with you anyway. Some cool bits in. Uh, Joey does actually swear by these for painting. Um, he usually uses them for the whole wall, but he said about just using these as edges as they intended and then move on to a roller. But I think, to be honest, he'll start using these and just carry on using these. So these are the paint pad edges in Wilkinson's. They are actually still three to three pound fifty, I believe. And these are obviously only a pound. <laughs> we did get eight. There was plenty left, so plenty for other people to pick up if they wanted to, but we did get eight of those. We, I think we got one for each room, plus a joint one for the hallways, and then um, one extra, you know, just in case. Then we got lots and lots of masking tape, because as I say, we do want to be ready, fully ready to move in without having to do any work once we're in. We don't want to do anything after all furniture has been put in. Obviously, maybe a touch up in a couple of years, but, you know, we want to be living here for some time. Hopefully we'll buy our house the next time we move. <laughs> I really am hoping. We've got garden space, we've got three bedrooms, so we've got room for the filming space that I wanted and also the room for a gym, somewhere to sit down and eat, somewhere to entertain people and hopefully it's going to be great. My only gripe is the kitchen is a little bit on the small side but it does have a bath, hip hip hooray, and a parking space so yeah, for the pros way outweigh the cons for sure. Then we've got this measure up ruler. I think I saw this on Mr. Carrington's haul and he mentioned about how it must be easier to use because it's less um, flexible and a little bit more sturdy, especially if you're measuring up things on your own. Joey said something about this being good for measuring tiles. So I'm going to leave him to it. He needed it, so we got it. And then I got a pack of this smooth out sanding sheet. Now, I have done a lot of research on tile painting because I want to make sure we do it right because it's not really our house but the mismatched tiles and we need to tile a bit more because we're going to put the shower head on the wall so we want to make sure that's all nice and waterproof so that we don't have any floods or anything or any mould or whatever well anyway we need it for the tiles so I got this um, I will be buying the primer as well as the paint as well so yeah got that one might need another one hopefully not there is six sheets in there but obviously we could just buy some more sheets cut them down and we've got the sander block already so it's a win-win there and then the final thing that we actually needed today was the toothpaste so i got this wisdom one sensitive whitening toothpaste mm. helps whiten teeth freshens breath and fights cavities and then i got this as well antibacterial mouthwash can't actually read that Helps combat gum problems, bad breath, and fights plaque. And these are both new, so I thought I'd give them a go. They were just a pound each. But I do think that me and Joey will be reverting to Sensodyne very, very soon. So that's the final haul of the day. So I just thought I'd show you the back of these in case you are interested in buying them for yourselves. For a pound, it's definitely a really good deal. I'm sure this is going to give Joey... <laughs> an easy time when it comes to painting. I do actually really like painting too, so I might help him, you never know. It's 20 to 4 and I don't know what else to do. I'm not sure how long this vlog is going to be. It's been obviously an introduction to us moving and me getting my preparations ready for cleaning. The next vlog will probably be in order of how it happens, so it'll be house tour next i guess it'll be a realistic one i'm not gonna go tidy up or clean anything prior to the empty house tour it'll be exactly <laughs> as we get the keys because we'll probably get the keys and then go do the house tour straight away um so then if we want to do anything whilst the other one's not there we can because we do want to make this sort of a project as well as a obviously functional space so yeah we i think we're gonna pick colors together um, although I have ideas in my head already, Joey usually just rolls with it. I don't know if any of you couples out there are similar to me and Joey, but if one of us wants something bad enough, we usually have to compromise with something that the other one wants bad enough. For example, I really wanted to go on another holiday with my family and Joey was like, oh, we can't afford it. We're going to have to do this. We're going to have to cut back on that. And, and I had... If I wanted it that much, I had to obviously agree with him. And one of my one of his sort of outcomes from that was us us moving. 
I, we've never been 100% settled or happy in this flat. We've barely had anyone here, to be quite honest. And um, it'll be nice to have people around without feeling like they can't come around. There's nowhere for them to go. Um, yeah, so I kind of compromised because I felt like actually it's probably what we needed. So, yeah. I'll let you know if I'm going to end the vlog because I can't think of anything else that I could do right now on the vlog. But I might sit down and have a think and if I find something then I'll come back to you and say I'm going to do this. But I think this is going to be the end of the vlog. So if it is, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're excited for these moving vlogs and I will see you all in the next one. Which will hopefully be the We Got The Keys house tour. See you soon. Bye.